Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've um, posted or even given a video. I've just been trying to take care of the world, right? And not just the world, my world. Um, I've been doing the best I can and I realized that there was a very desperate need for more conversations about um, your own mental health about the importance of expressing yourself um, even with this movement there's a lot of expression a lot of um, opening up and letting go of a lot of things that seem to have been I, I would say repressed oppressed and I found that there's a need for conversation right I started off these videos because during the quarantine I found that so many people needed support so many people needed um, love and just needed a safe space right to just be who they needed to be regardless of what was going on we all faced that together no matter how hard it was we faced that together it affected everyone it didn't matter what race you were, gender, sexual orientation, um, age, even health. It affected everybody. And so when you go through something like that, you have no choice but to humble yourself, right? Because on top of that, money didn't even matter, right? Um, it affected you. And so... I took the time to make the videos, right, to help you guys and to help you calm down, to help you work through your own things. And there was a moment in which I didn't check in with myself, right? So what good am I if I don't take care of myself? I'm not good to you anyways. You know what I mean? So I took some time away and the pandemic, you know, kind of slowed down almost diminished and now this movement right this civil rights movement showed up and so i was like okay so now i'm at an impasse right now i'm in a space in which again my voice is needed and not just my voice but maybe my words of wisdom and my thoughts are needed and so i came back to do another video so what are what are my thoughts right um my thoughts are these you cannot take the responsibility of the weight of the world onto yourself it is your duty to acknowledge what is happening to do the best you can and to do right by what's happening but you cannot carry that burden on your back 24 7 7 days a week I find it to be very interesting that this movement happened um, during this time frame. It was almost like the perfect storm for it, right? The, per the perfect space for it. Why? Because this happened during a time frame where we've all had way too much time to sit in our thoughts. Now, that's a catch-22, right? Because it's good to sit in your thoughts. I encourage that all the time. It encourages intelligence, questioning, inspiration, diving deeper, growth, spirituality, the understanding of self, if you do it correctly. However, if you don't do it correctly and you're in a very dark headspace, that can be the worst thing that happens to you very damaging very depressive very anxious very angry um with the deaths of these people george floyd um this woman brianna taylor i think and um i forgot i i don't want to pronounce the other the other young man's name wrong but with the death of these of these people of color 
we are now forced to see a reality that's always been there, right? That we are discriminated against in some way um, by the color of our skin. And then I, I say, I because, and I include myself in that because I am Dominican and you know, my father is not light skinned, he's dark skinned. Um, and he's had his own issues, you know, growing up and and being a man of color. And I may not look like I am of color, but I identify as that. I, as a matter of fact, you know, um, identify as many things because I feel like I am Spaniard, I am Taino, and I am black, right? Because that's what Dominicans are made of. But bringing it back to a therapeutic space, right? I want you to, one, take a moment for yourself. That's extremely important. Two, I suggest, right? Doesn't always have to be this way, but I suggest turning off the notifications on your Instagram, your Facebook, all your social media platforms. Go on them whenever you feel like you need to. It doesn't need to be a constant reminder of you need to check in, you need to do this, you need to do that because you know what? You got way too much time on your hands to think and that just dry, dry, drives and will dive you into a much darker space. The other part is do not pick up your phone the first thing when you wake up and your phone not be the last thing that you're on when you go to sleep. Why? It's okay to disconnect. Not it's okay, it is mandatory for you to disconnect. Why? Because when you are constantly in your phone, you're constantly stimulated, then you know what, you don't rest. You can maybe, you may be sleeping and you can sleep, but you're not resting. Why do I say in the morning and in the night? Because taking those few moments when you just wake up to kind of ground yourself, reflect, where are you, what do you want to do for the day, Where where's your head at, gives you a much more better, clear, concise, flowing day versus you going on your phone and being stimulated by the million other things because you know what, then you are doing what the world is asking you to do and not what you want to do for the world. And I hope that that makes sense. At night, you don't, your phone doesn't, should and should not be the last thing you look at before you go to sleep. Why? Because you're not resting. You go to sleep with whatever the fuck you saw. Take a moment to reflect on your day. How was your day? Did you fulfill what you wanted to do from when you reflected in the morning, right? Did you um, get what you wanted done? How do you feel? Where are you mentally? Taking deep breaths, which will come to the third thing I want you to do. Take three deep breaths. And on, the, on each one, you sigh. Like, ah. <sighs> why because i've had to do that several times during this time frame and when i've done it every time and i feel like i need to do it i start crying and i just let that shit out you need to let that shit out you need to let that shit go fourth thing i want you to do um join support groups speak to other people I've created a support group every Wednesday. It's going to be a different topic every Wednesday, but nonetheless, it is free 99. Um, you can join mine, but there's a million others, and I'm constantly posting up resources. Go to a support group. Speak to other people. Do not feel like you are alone. You should not be alone, especially if you're not in a good headspace mentally. Five, dive into what you love. I've dove in into plants. My God, I have a forest now. <laughs> I've decided I want to do clay. I started growing things. Um, I ended up growing basil out of something I bought on this, in the grocery store, like cut basil. Um, I've grown like three or four other plants because I took the time to just find out what I can do and what I can't do. And in the times that I take away and I'm disconnected from my phone, I'm gardening, I'm 
organizing, I'm cleaning, I'm taking care of myself. And the last one is, if you need help, seek help. Your friends won't always be the best people for that. What is my recommendation? Go to a professional, speak out to somebody, they will refer you to somebody because I constantly see, at least on my newsfeed, a whole bunch of different referrals and resources that you can go to so you can speak. You are important. You matter. Your thoughts matter. Black lives matter. Take care of yourselves. Take it one day at a time. You are not responsible for anyone's feelings but your own. And honor that. Because at the end of the day, if anything I've learned from this is that passion and that fire and that drive that everyone's going out there and protesting with, that's the type of passion and that's the type of fire I want you to have for the things that you love, for the things that you believe in, and in for life itself. Because when you have that, you can achieve anything that you want to achieve. So the next time you want to go ahead and you want to post or you want to be active or proactive or happy or guiding and open and passionate about something, let it be something that you believe in whatever you believe in but as long as it fulfills you and it fills your cup then you're doing what's right for you you are doing your civil duty you want to know purpose you want to have a purpose find purpose in what you love and then you have purpose and that is it my loves um i love you i appreciate you i hope that you honor and love yourself the way you deserve to be and do not lose sight of what's important, even when the world may be falling apart. Have a good night.